this uh, year, I'm going to give you just a little, it's called an off election year. In other words, the presidential election will not happen to 2012. But there are elections that will be going on November the 8th. So if you see some signs up and you'll say, hey, mom, why, why is there a sign up? Well, that person wants you to vote for them. So you can see their see their name. I might have I might go out and go get one of my signs that I put up in a yard just to show you. All right. Joey and I are best friends. We have known each other since almost since we were born. We've always done everything together. Sort of. When we were babies, Joey crawled first. I crawled faster. Joey walked first, but I wobbled faster. Joey talked first, but I talked louder. Yeah. Now we're in the third grade. Listen up, class, Mrs. Grant said. <laughs> At the end of next week, we will have class elections. Who would like to run for president? <laughs> It's got a little did you knows. These are kind of cool. So this is an aside. Did you know? In lots of countries, people don't get to choose their leaders in elections like the way Americans do. So we're very lucky. Okay, so I start thinking about whether I want to run for president. Presidents get to fly in their own airplanes. <laughs> and <coughs> did you know that presidents have to be 35 years old before they get elected? What? Yeah, I gotta be that old. Presidents get to live in the White House. <laughs> and did you know the White House has, oh, this is kind of cool. The White House has 132 rooms, 35 bathrooms, boy, I wouldn't want to clean all those, and three elevators. It also has a swimming pool, a movie theater, and a bowling alley. A movie oh, theater and a bowling alley. When I was a kid, when I was a kid, they put bowling alleys in a lot of um, a lot of oh hotels and things. So that was a really cool thing to do. Yes, sir. Um, my grandpa and grandma and aunt went to Washington and they saw the White House. Did they? Yeah. Oh, that's so my cool. My sister went in the White House. Really? Lucky. Yeah. She saw the green. The green. Oh, that'd be fun. Okay, presidents get to throw off the first pitch at a baseball game. <laughs> well, maybe not the president of third grade, but it sure sounds like fun. And hey, you have to start somewhere. And did you know the first time a U.S. president opened the baseball season was in 1910? A hundred years ago. That president was William Howard Taft. And William Howard Taft was a big baseball fan. Yes, Lexi? I know when this book was published. Very good. Because they would have not had that 100 years in there if they wouldn't have printed the book. Very good. I look at Joey and he looks at me and Joey raises his hand first. And I raise mine higher. And I sell, I'll do it. I'll run for president. <laughs> we say it at the same time. Not so fast, says Mrs. Grunt. First someone has to nominate you. I nominate Joey, I said. I nominate Pete, says Joey. May the best candidate win, Mrs. Grant and Joyce. And I said, we will, we both said. So after school, they make a poster. I'm almost done when my marker runs out. I'll finish it with chalk. And then here it says, vote for Pete for president. The next day, Joey has posters, big, fancy ones with stars. Joey looks at my po poster and says, who is Pet. See, because he ran out of a marker. You couldn't see the E. He asked Mike and Joey laugh. Oh no, at the end of the E at the end of my name is smudge. You can hardly see it. My campaign is off to a bad start. I get home from school and flop down on the living room floor. You're blocking the TV, my brother Dave yells. Dave is watching a movie about a guy who wants to be mayor of an old west town. He gives people stuff so they vote for him and makes promises even when he knows he can't keep them. In the end, 
the sheriff puts the guy in jail, but I don't pay any attention to that part. I'm too busy thinking about, I'm going to be president of third grade. Watch out, Joey. The next day at lunch, I sit next to Max. Max loves pizza. Vote for me and I'll make sure our class trip is to, to a pizza factory, I said. <laughs> says Max. His mouth is full, but I think it was a yes. I dribble up to Mar Marna at recess. Vote for me, I said, and the, I, for the class trip, we'll go to a basketball game. I'll think about it, she says. And I find Erica in the library. I don't think we need a class trip, I tell her. Vote for me, and we'll use the money we saved to buy computer games. Zip, beeps Erica's computer. Maybe, she says. Well, that's not very nice to say that you're going to do something, and then you know you can't. Lying is not very good. Lying is not good at all. The next day, Joey has a big box of donuts on his desk. Chocolate, my favorite. I reach to take one. Hands off, Joey says. Max walks up. Vote for me, says Joey, and have a donut. Mm, they're bribing him. I watch as the whole class gobbles up donuts. That's not a balanced breakfast, I grumble. But nobody pays attention. Joey gives me a chocolatey smile. Uh-oh. I have a feeling he may have seen that movie, too. Uh-oh. The next morning, I hang up a new poster. It has a picture of Joey on a kangaroo's body. Mike laughs when he sees it. Vote for me, and you can be a class monitor, I tell him. Great, says, says Mike. Well, then they said, Joey is a kangaroo, not a good president. Oh, that was it's funny, but it's kind of it's mean. It's not nice to be mean. Joey goes home for lunch, and when he comes back, he has a new poster. I think I'm going to buy this book for everybody in the state house. <laughs> <laughs> it's a picture of me from last Halloween. I'm dressed up as a clown. Hey, I say, it's no fair. Don't vote for this clown. It's got a picture of a clown, and here's... So they're, they're going back and forth here. For the rest of the day, Joey doesn't talk to me, and I don't talk to Joey. Remember, Mrs. Grant tells... The debate is tomorrow. <laughs> Good luck, snarls Joey. You'll need it. Well, I'm not worried, I said. But I am. <laughs> On the day of the debate, Joey and I stand in front of the class, and Joey glares at me. You get what glaring is. That's, that's right, glares at me. I glare right back. Why should you be president of the third grade? That's easy because I'm the best candidate. Oh my God. <coughs> ha! Says Joey. You still sleep with a nightlight. I can't believe he said that. This is war. So, I said, you sleep with a teddy bear. <laughs> that was me, wasn't it? <laughs> nightlight baby, says Joey. Teddy bear baby, I said. I am not your two. I'm not your two. Stop it. So Joey and I stop it. What about the issues? Erica asks. What What are your platforms? In other words, what you stand on, what you say, that what you want to do. Huh? Joey looks at me and I look at jo Joey. Issues? Platforms? Questions? What do I think? I mean, what will you do for the third grade? What do you stand for? Where do you stand on the class trip? Well, I told you we'd go to a pizza factory, says Max. You told me we're going to a basketball game. If I were president, says Erica, I'd let everyone vote on the class trip, and I'd work for better food in the cafeteria, and no tests on Friday. <laughs> everyone starts yelling at once. Vote, Erica, vote, Erica. But Erica's not running, says Joey. You can't vote for her. Actually, they can. She can be a write-in candidate. Oops. Joey and I didn't know that. <laughs> the next day is election day, and when it comes time to vote, I check my name. Then I cross it out, and I write Erica. Mrs. Grant counts the votes. Erica is the new president of third grade room three. Joey and I take down our posters, and it's nice to be doing something together again. Erica will be a good president, says Joey. 
Yeah, I say the best person won. Joey and I ride our bikes home after school. Oh, my God. Friends, said Joey. Oh, no. Friends, I said. Joey grins first, but I grin wider. I know we're both thinking the same thing. Oh. There's always next year. <laughs> do you think the guy, do you think those boys probably learned a lesson though? Yeah. Yeah, not to be mean, not to lie about one another, and not to make fun of one another. And that's not a very good thing to do, is it? No. No. And you probably will see some of that going on, and that's not the right thing to be, and that's not the right way to be. The last two times I have run, I don't send out anything like that, and I don't think it's very nice. Let's see here. Let's um, look at the did you know? Because I stopped at the second page. Okay, was it the second did you know? Yes. Okay, here's the did you know. All right, this is kind of like uh, you guys ever watch Jeopardy? Do, 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 do. Okay, what time are we done here? 9 30. 9 30, okay. All right, we'll play Jeopardy here just a little bit, just to see if you know. And if you don't know, don't worry about it, because today's for learning, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Um, all right, let's start here. All right. A person who runs for a job. Yeah, now, what, should we go back to your desk so you guys can take notes on this? Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Let's do that. 